Good day and thank you for watching. I'm Teacher Ryan and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my sixth video on my series on the Nemeth Braille Code. In this video, I'm going to present the decimal point and the rules that we need to follow in using this numeric symbol. If you are new to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button as well as the like and share buttons. So without further delay, let's get started. Firstly, what is a decimal point? A decimal point is a symbol that is used to separate the whole number portion from the portion whose value is less than the whole number. In print, the decimal point appears like a period or a dot or a point and it is or it appears in the middle of the whole number and that portion whose value is less than one now to the left of the decimal point is the whole number portion and to the right are the digits whose value is less than one in Nemeth braille code the dot configuration of the decimal point consists of dots 4 and 6 which are both located on the right column of a braille cell. Now let's go to the rules that we need to follow when we write the decimal point. First is that there should be no space between the decimal point and any number associated with it or any number around it. Now let's take some examples. First is 1.25 as we write in Nemeth. We have the numeric indicator, the digit 1, then the decimal point, then the digits 2 and 5. So in this example, there is no space before the decimal point and after the decimal point. Next example, we have 3.468. In Nemeth, we write numeric indicator, the, di the digit 3, the decimal point, that's 4 and 6, and the digits 4, 6, and 8. Again, there is no space before the decimal point and after the decimal point and our last example 98.7 so here in Nemeth we write numeric indicator the digits 9 and 8 the decimal point and then the digit 7 Rule number two states that if there is no numeral before the decimal point, the numeric indicator must be used before the decimal point when the decimal point is the first character uh, on a braille line or when the decimal point is the first character after the space. Now this simply means that there is no number before the decimal point meaning there is no whole number portion before we write the decimal point hence the number is less than one let's take some examples the first one is point zero zero one in Nemeth we write the numeric indicator first the decimal point and the digits 0, 0, and 1. So here, in application of the rule, we need to write the numeric indicator before the decimal point since there is no number before the decimal point or to the left of the decimal point. Next example, we have point zero nine five. In Nemeth, we write the numeric indicator first, the decimal point, 
with digits uh, with dots 4 and 6 and then digits 0, 9, 5 and our last example for this rule we have 0.357 in Nemeth we write the numeric indicator decimal point digits 3, 5, 7 rule number 3 when numerals or numbers with decimals are used with signs of operations or signs of comparisons we need to follow the rules of those signs regarding the use of the numeric indicator let's look at some examples for this rule first we have 1.25 plus 2.5 50. In Nemeth, we write numeric indicator, digit 1, decimal point, that's 4 and 6, digits 2 and 5, the plus sign, that's 3, 4, 6, now there's no space before the plus sign, and then there's no space also after the plus sign, and there's no numeric indicator, so we go straight to digit or to number 2 and then decimal point then digits 5 and 0 so take note in this example that we followed the rules in uh, the use of numeric indicator with uh, or in relation to the sign of operation or the plus sign in this case so as we learned from our previous video that if we have a, a sign of operation we don't need to put a space after the numbers or after the numerals and there should be no numeric indicator after the plus sign or after the signs of operation for our next example we have 21.65 or 21.65 is greater than 8.42 in MF we write numeric indicator digits 2 1 decimal point digits 6 and 5 space the greater than symbol which is composed of that's 4 6 for the first cell and that 2 on the second cell then space and then we need to write a numeric indicator then digit 8 decimal point digits 4 and 2 so take note here since we have a sign of comparison in greater than we need to have a space before and after greater than and we need to write the numeric indicator after the space uh, right after the greater than symbol or the symbol of comparison now unlike the first example that we did not write a numeric indicator after the sign or the operation here since the rules or the rules yeah, the rules on the use of numeric indicator in uh, or within signs of comparison uh, compels us to write a numeric indicator right after the space after the sign of comparison now to further understand the rules let's take some additional examples so we have here 1.23 is less than 1.32 or 32 in Nemeth, we write numeric indicator, number 1, a decimal point, digits 2 and 3, space, the, le the less than symbol in Nemeth, uh, that 5 on the first cell, and that's 1 and 3 on the second cell, and then space, and then we need to write a numeric indicator, and then number 1, decimal point, then the digits, 3 and 2. Our second example we have 
20.01 is greater than 19.98. In MF, we write numeric indicator, digits 2 and 0, decimal point, digits 0 and 1, space, the greater than symbol in Nemeth, space, numeric indicator, digits 1 and 9, decimal point, and digits 9 and 8. Our third example, 72 is equal to 72.00. In Nemeth, we write numeric indicator, digits 7 and 2, space, the equal sign in Nemeth, First cell we have dots 4 and 6, and second cell we have dots 1 and 3, and then space, numeric indicator, digits 7, 2, decimal point, and then digits 7, Z, no, no, digits 0, 0. For our last example, we have a series of numbers. We have 1, comma, 1.1, comma, 1.2. In MF, we write numeric indicator number one and then the mathemat mathematical comma that's six space numeric indicator again one decimal point one that's six which is the mathematical comma space numeric indicator one decimal point two i hope you learned something from this video again thank you very much for watching before I bid goodbye, allow me to uh, give a shout out to my uh, subscribers, to all uh, SPED teachers, and especially Ma'am Dolores Pipino and Ma'am Albeth Marikit of Sapatera SPED Center in Cebu City. Until then, thank you and God bless us.